weather from where you live. Well, 108 years ago today, it was more of a January, February type winter storm. A lot of sleet and freezing rain, one to two inches of sleet, about a quarter of an inch of ice, and up to five inches of snow pelted the area, followed by a decent amount of wind. It came in a non traditional way. We had an Alberta clipper drip, uh, drifting southeastward. Whereas we had a big strong storm near the Gulf Coast, we took the moisture and the warmth and kind of put it up and over that front from the clipper and that's what produced all the widespread wintry precip in our area. Nothing like that tonight or tomorrow. This is a very weak system, may produce a shower or a sprinkle or two tonight or perhaps tomorrow with skies generally cloudy tonight and mostly cloudy tomorrow. The first of three weather systems. The second will bring rain midweek. And then snow possible by Friday, followed by much colder weather by the weekend. Tomorrow will be in the 40s area wide, from mid 40s Lafayette and Fowler, low 40s Winnemac, to upper 40s from Crawfordsville to Covington and Petersburg. Much warmer midweek. I think we're talking about highs by Tuesday rising well into the 50s 56 Lafayette, 54 Monticello, and 58 at Covington. Now, why is that? The next system is moving much farther north, so we're going to be able to tap into much warmer air early in the week. Now, this is early tomorrow morning. Notice how we're pretty overcast over most of the viewing area, but I think with time, uh, we'll see a few breaks in the clouds here and there tomorrow, and there may be a, a sprinkle or a brief isolated shower. But the showers start to increase uh, Tuesday night and into Wednesday. This is Wednesday morning. Showers increasing through the air, and I think it may be kind of a showery day before the front goes through, and we get a little colder Thursday, and then the third and final system comes in later on in the week as the moisture comes in out of the Pacific with the colder drifting southward. That third one may very well produce snow in the area. So Tuesday, it's just windy and warmer, highs well into the 50s again, and then the rain comes in Wednesday. It gets a little bit cooler, and then by Friday, cold air comes in. We're looking at potential of some snow. This could be the first one inch or greater snowfall for the area, depending on the track. So we'll have to keep an eye on that, but I think there's a good potential of snow from that system. And then the Arctic air comes in for Saturday. And temperatures way below normal as the cold air, which is building here in Canada and Hudson Bay, drifts southward. You can see that moving southward very rapidly, and that's what will be in here by the weekend. You're going to see that in the seven day. There's the 56 Tuesday, the 50s on Wednesday, and then even Thursday, not bad, 37. A little cooler with snow potential Friday, and then it's much, much colder by the weekend, way below normal, about 20 degrees below normal on Saturday with a high of 20. So like I said in first weather, there's something for everyone in that forecast from a nice 56 to some snow, uh, to whiten the ground, and then even a 20 on Saturday. Yeah, I think you could say our Facebook viewers got a little bit of everything. They sure did, yeah.